Hey guys, Doug B here. Today we're going to add a layout link to one of the uh, layouts on your FC controller. Now back in October, there was a post on the FC form from a guy wanting to know if there was a way that like when he selected a preset on his FC controller, that all the scenes would come up automatically. Now another forum member and I responded that you could set up per preset switches to do this. For the FC6, I suggested having one switch for preset up, another switch for preset down, and the other four switches could be for um, scenes. Since each switch has tap and hold functions, you could get all eight scenes on the four foot switches. Now the other guy has an FC12 and he had it set up so that the first four switches on the bottom row uh, changed effects, the first four buttons on the top row changed scenes, and then the other buttons changed preset up, down, and were used for looper functions. Now, both of those methods would work, but they are per preset. Now, you know, like if you only have a handful of presets, sure, no big deal. But if you're changing hundreds of presets, you do not want to have to set this up on every preset. So he wanted to know, isn't there an easier way to do this, like a global way to do it? That, my friends, is where layout links come in. Let's check it out. First, let's see what the manual says. Now, this information can only be found in the Fractal Audio Footswitch Functions Guide. Layout link is not a category or function like preset select or looper record. Instead, this feature is built into every other function, adding several parameters to every other footswitch function on the FC controller. With layout links, any tap or hold function can serve double duty, also changing the layout on one or more of the other FC controllers in your rig. Use one FC6 to switch another. Use an FM3 to switch an FC12. It's all up to you how you use this powerful feature. Setting up a layout link is simple, but it does not appear in the front panel's easy page. To use this feature, you must navigate to the desired foot switch under Setup FC Controllers Layouts, or you can use AxeEdit. To create a layout link, simply designate the layouts you want to load on the desired FC units. Layout links fire after the primary function they are assigned to, but their timing isn't based on a delay. Instead, the layout link always activates when the switch for its associated function is released. Don't confuse layout link with the layout select function, which in comparison is a simple way for a foot switch to change the layout on the current unit. Layout link is more far reaching. It can automatically trigger layout sequences or control multiple units at once without tap dancing. Layout links can also change the view on the target controller. On the Axe FX3, every tap or hold function offers four layout link parameters. Why four? Because this is the maximum number of FC units that you can connect to the FX3. On the FM3, the total is reduced from four to three. In this example, we'll use a set of two custom layouts. Let's call them Layout 1 Presets and Layout 2 Scenes. Layout 1 contains Bank Up, Bank Down, and several preset switches. Layout 2 contains the Scene switches. If we add layout links to the preset switches, then stepping on a preset foot switch will do two things. It'll select a preset and then change the layout. Now for this example, whenever we select a preset, the scenes layout will come up automatically. But how would you get back to layout one? Well, there are many ways, but the easiest one that comes to mind would be to add a layout one switch right in layout two. This could even be a hold function if real estate is scarce. Now the manual goes into detail about another example where you can control another FC controller from the main FC controller, but we're just gonna stick with example one. So guys, we're going to use Axe Edit because it is so much easier and quicker than the front panel. We don't need to set up any presets because we're going to be making changes to two of the layouts on the FC controller. So open Axe Edit and then click on FC Edit, which is right underneath Save. Now this brings you into the layout screen. Right now we're in the presets layout and this is the first layout that we're going to modify. The number one switch is highlighted and this is the first switch where we'll add a layout link. Over on the right it says Layout Links, and next to that is a button labeled Edit Links. When we click on it, it brings up the Layout Links Layout 1 Switch 1 panel. There are options for four FC controllers, but we're only going to use FC1. Click on the box next to FC1 under Tap Layout. From here you can choose what layout you want to change when you press this foot switch. I'll choose Layout 2, which is the Scenes Layout. So what will happen is, if I choose the preset on switch number 1, it will select that preset and change to the scenes layout automatically when I take my foot off of the foot switch. Now we'll also want to add this function to the other preset foot switches as well using the same procedure. So let's do that. We did one. Here's number two. Edit links. FC number one. Layout two. Close. 
up here, edit links, FC number one, layout two, close, and then switch number five, edit links, FC number one, layout two. All right, let's test it out. Let's try the Friedman preset here. And look at that, brings up the scenes. Great. Now look, hey, it works. If you're in the presets layout, if you click on any of the preset buttons, it loads that preset and opens up the scenes layout without having to do any tap dancing. Perfect. But now how do you get back to the presets layout? Well, I've got a stand in the switch on my rig that I can use, but let's assume that you don't have any stand in switches. What then? Well, let's go back to Axe Edit and figure it out. Now click on FC Edit again. We're back to the layout screen. Now click on the number two to bring up the scenes layout. Right now I have this layout set up so that the tap function on the foot switches activates the corresponding scene. So stepping on foot switch number one brings up scene number one, stepping on foot switch number two brings up scene number two, and so on. I'm also using the hold function on the fifth foot switch to bring up scene seven, and using the hold function on the sixth foot switch to bring up scene eight. Now let me just show you that real quick here. You can see, select scene one, select scene two, select scene three, select scene four, select scene five, hold, select scene seven, scene six, hold, select scene eight. So we need to make three changes. We're gonna use the hold function on the fourth foot switch to bring up scene seven. Then we'll go to the fifth foot switch and we'll change this one to bring up scene eight now. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we click on this guy. We'll use the hold function here. We're gonna change that to bring us back to the presets layout. So it is layout, select, which layout do we want? Layout number one. So. The tap function on the sixth foot switch will bring up scene six. The hold function on the sixth foot switch will bring us back to layout number one, the presets layout. Okay, let's test it. First, we'll hit a preset button. Okay, now it brings us into the scenes. So just like before, the tap function on each foot switch brings up the corresponding scene in one through six. <laughs> Okay, now holding down the fourth foot switch, that brings up scene seven. Holding down the fifth foot switch will bring up scene eight. Holding down the sixth foot switch brings us back to presets. It works just exactly perfect. So there you have it guys. Now when you select a preset, it will also automatically go to the scenes layout. And all that from using just one foot switch. Very cool. Now taking this one step further, you could add layout links to the scenes layout so that when you select a scene, it would automatically go to the effects one page. Then you could add a link on the effects two page to bring you back to the scenes layout. Sweet. Layout links are another killer shortcut that are there to make your stage life a whole lot easier. All right, guys. Now, next week, we're going to look at using keyboards with the Axe FX3. Now, you don't want to miss that, so hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, see you then.